Okay, let's go ahead and find the radius of the circle. So here is a circle. So what is the radius? Well, the radius is this part right here. You can see I have this little r, but the radius is half of the diameter, and the diameter is the whole width of the circle. It runs to the center of the circle. So this whole length right here, we would classify that as the diameter, okay? And one half of the diameter is the radius, okay? And of course, it can go like this. This right here is also a radius. This is also a radius. This is all radii, that's radius plural. But what we wanna do is find the length of the radius given that the area of this circle is 50 feet squared. So this circle here is 50 feet squared. How do we find the radius? Well, this is an important type of problem for all of you out there, uh, whether you're taking algebra or geometry to be able to do, okay? So it's gonna require two things. One, you're gonna need to know a formula, and two, you're gonna have to know some basic algebra. Not that difficult, but definitely a common type of problem that all of you will face somewhere along the lines in your math study. So we're gonna get into exactly how to uh, solve this problem. Matter of fact, if you know how to do this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Uh, and don't feel shy about using a calculator. I'm gonna give you a uh, decimal approximation uh, to this problem. So just go ahead and put your answer into the comment section if you know what you're doing. But I'm gonna get into this step-by-step -step in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. I'm telling you right now, if you're having difficulty learning mathematics, doesn't have to be that way, okay? You can do much, much better in math, but it requires two things. One, you gotta be willing to put in the work, okay? So if you're not gonna really work hard at learning math, you're not gonna learn math, okay? So work harder, but the second thing you need is great math instruction, clear and understandable, and this is where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, check out my math help program. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. It can definitely help you out. Also, if you happen to be preparing for any sort of test with the math section, things like the GED, SAT, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, I can definitely help you out. If you homeschool, have great uh, homeschool, middle and high school math uh, courses that can help you out. And if this little video helps you out, help me out by liking it and subscribing to my channel. But let's get into this basic circle problem and find the radius of this circle given that the area is 50 feet squared. Okay, so let's get to the general setup here. And that is, well, we need some sort of uh, relationship between the radius and the area. So how can we relate the radius and the area? Well, we need a formula. And that is the formula for the area of a circle. So the area of a circle is, the area is equal to pi r squared. And r is the radius. So this is what you need to know. There's a lot of formulas in math, um, but some formulas, I would highly suggest you commit these into your long-term memory, okay? So if you didn't know that the area of a circle was equal to uh, pi r squared, I would definitely plug that into your long-term memory. Those are the formulas that you, you, know, you write them down in your notes. You can always kind of reference if you forget them. That's okay. This formula here, you should try to you know, memorize for the long run. Okay, but if you didn't know that, here is the formula. Now, I gave you the formula, which is really the secret to unlocking the solution here. So the area is equal to pi r squared. Pi is a um, variable that represents an, what we call an irrational number. So we're going to use uh, pi. We're going to use a decimal approximation of 3.14 uh, for pi. Okay. This is a whole other conversation because pi, this decimal goes on infinitely. Okay. The more digits we use, the more accurate our answer will be, or we could just use um, pi in our final answer, but I'm going to give you a decimal approximation uh, for this final answer because I'm going to just um, approximate uh, pi uh, as 3.14, okay? So my answer is not going to be 100% perfect or accurate, but it'd be fairly representative of the actual final radius. So if you want to go ahead and do this problem, you can use 3.14 as your approximation for pi, and uh, go ahead and use this formula. See if you can go ahead and solve the, um, uh, the basic algebra problem that occurs here when we're trying to solve for the radius. But let's go ahead and get into this now. This is not that difficult, but if you didn't know how, you, uh, how to do it, now you're going to find out. So the area is 50 feet squared, okay? So we have this 
is equal to the area, or A. So this A here, I'm going to plug in 50. Okay, I don't have to worry about the units of measure. Um, well, let's just talk about that real quick. So the area is going to be in feet squared, so my radius will be in feet. Okay, so that is um, definitely uh, something important uh, to know. But I don't have to put in 50 feet squared when I'm using this formula. So I'm going to put in 50. So it's 50 is going to be my area is equal to pi. So I'll just put that there in r squared. I don't know what the radius is. I'm solving for that. So I'll just leave that as r squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this basic equation. So 50 is equal to pi r squared. Let's solve for um, r squared first. Okay, so what I need to do is divide both sides of the equation by pi. Okay, so I'm going to end up with 50 divided by pi is going to be equal to r squared. Okay, because pi divided by pi is 1, or 1 r squared, or r squared is 50 divided by pi. Now, 50 divided by pi, we need to get some sort of decimal value for that. So what I want you to do is replace that pi uh, with 3.14. So in your calculator, you could take 50 divided by 3.14, and you'll get roughly 15.92. There's other decimals. I mean, I am uh, rounding here. So now you have r squared is equal to 15.92. Uh, so at this point, how do I solve for r? Well, you simply just go ahead and take the square root of both sides. So you're going to get the square root of r squared is r. And that's going to be equal to the square root of 15.92, which will be approximately 3.98. But 3.98 what? Well, feet. Okay, because... Uh, remember, the radius, let's go back here to our lovely little diagram. The radius is measured in, um, you know, just in feet, because when we square the radius, when we're finding the area, we're going to get feet squared. So remember, length or distance is like feet. So area, okay, like something like this would be feet squared. Unit squared is area. And then units cubed. So if I wanted to find, that's a terrible drawing. I could do better than that. Let's say I wanted to find the volume, okay, of uh, something with that involved feet. Feet, feet, uh, this would be feet times feet times feet. So feet cubed. So cubic units goes with volume. Square units go with area. And then just the unit itself, like feet or centimeters or millimeters, that goes with distance um, or length. Okay, by the way, too, units of measure when you're answering a problem like this is very, very important. But if you got all this right, well, then I must go ahead and give you a nice, lovely, uh, happy face. Matter of fact, I'm going to throw in a nice 1982 Mohawk haircut with an A plus 100%. That was a pretty cool haircut. I didn't wear that uh, back in the day, but I'll tell you what, those uh, took a lot of hairspray. The 1980s was full of hairspray, probably unfortunately caused some of this uh, climate uh, problems that we have uh, today. But that was pretty cool, just like your ability to solve this problem. But uh, for those of you out there that didn't know how to do this, well, you need to know how to uh, solve a problem like this. This is a typical classic uh, geometry problem that involves basic algebra. Okay. All right. So uh, if you need additional help, I have tons of videos in my geometry playlist, algebra playlist, things like this that relate um, geometry formulas with algebra because there is um, algebra in geometry. So if you're going to be taking geometry or are taking geometry and you're weak in algebra, you need to def definitely strengthen your um, algebra skills. But Check out all of my videos on my channel. I have over a thousand plus videos that can help you out or any one of my math courses. By the way, I do have math notes. Uh, I'll link to those in the description of this video as well that can help you out. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.